1 in the diagram on the right points A, B, C, D are vertices of parallelogram A, B, C, D. M is the intersection point of diagonal A, C and B, D. Find the coordinates of C and M. So, okay, this is C, this is M. Right? So, we know that this one is the diagonal, this one is the midpoint. So, we know M is the midpoint between D and B. So, you can just do midpoint or you can do MN, the same thing. You will still get uh, the same answer. So, I want to find the midpoint. So, D and B. So, M, X, Y is the midpoint of D and B. So, midpoint is actually X1 plus X2 divided by 2. Y1 plus Y2 divided by 2. So, here you get X1 is negative 1. X2 is 5 divided by 2. And then for Y... For, for y1, here is 6 plus y2 is 2 divided by 2. So, here we get 4 divided by 2 and this one is 8 divided by 2. So, this one is 2 and 4. So, here we know that m. So, m here is 2 and 4. So, for c here, we know that m is the midpoint between c and a. So, we know that for... C, we have X and Y, right? So, we know that X plus this X, X plus negative 3 divided by 2 is equal to X of M, which is 2. And here we have Y plus Y2 here is 0 divided by 2. You will get the coordinate of Y of M, which is 4. So, here X minus 3 is equal to, you bring 2 to the other side, 2 times 2 is 4, x is equal to 7. So, this one y plus 0 is y, 2 times 4 is 8. So, here we get x is 7, y is 8. So, this is the coordinate of c which is 7, 8. So, b, the ratio of the area a, b, m to the area of parallelogram a, b, c, d. So, this is the coordinate of m just now. So, we need to find the area. So, area of a, b, m is equal to half. So, a, b, m. So, we have to use the three coordinates. So, I want to use a, b, m. So, we see here first and last is the same point. So, this one is negative 3, 0. So, B is 5, 2. M, where is M? M is 2, 4. And A is negative 3, 0. I mean, it doesn't matter. It doesn't need to be... It doesn't need to be A, B, M, A. It can also be A, M, B, A. You can also start from B. But then, if you start from B, B, M, A, need to come back at B. First and last must be equal. So, here we have half. So, negative 3 times 2, we get negative 6. 5 times 4, we get plus 20. 2 times 0 is 0. So, plus 0. Don't even need to, don't even need to write. Okay, 0 times 5 is 0. So, minus 0. 2 times 2 is 4. So, below to up is minus, minus 4. 2 times negative, 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. So, negative 12 means minus negative 12. So, this one is equal to half. Negative 6 plus 20 minus 4 minus minus become positive 12. So, half. So, this one is negative 6 plus 20. We get 14. 14 minus 4 is 10. 10 plus 12, we get 22. So, 22 divided by 2, we get 11. So, this one is 11 unit square. So, this one is triangle. So, just write up here. So, triangle A, B, M is is equal to 11 unit square. So, here A, B, C, D. So, for parallelogram A, B, C, D. So, area A, B, C, D is equal to. So, the same formula. So, if you have A, B, C, D here. A, B, C, D. Make sure first and last is the same one. So, A is negative 3, 0. So, basically, when I have 4 point, I love to choose the one with 0. Okay. To start and last because you have to repeat the uh, coordinate. So, anything multiplied with 0, you will get 0, right? So, B, you get 5, 2. Where is C? C is 7, 8. D is negative 1, 6. And then A is negative 3, 0. Which is equal to half. So, negative 3 times 2, we get negative 6. 5 times 8, we get 40. So, we plus 40. 
so this one is basically plus negative 6 right but negative 6 and plus you will get negative 6 so 7 times 6 we get 42 so plus 42 negative 1 times 0 is 0 plus 0 or just let it be don't have to write so 0 times 5 is 0 so down to up is minus 2 times 7 is 14 so basically minus 14 so 8 times negative 1 is negative 8 so minus negative 8 6 times negative 3 is negative 18 so minus negative 18 so here we get half so negative 6 plus 40 plus 42 so this one is minus 14 plus 8 negative negative and this one is positive or negative this one is 18 minus 18 right negative negative become positive 18 so here we get half 88 which is equal to half so models 88 is 88 so here we get 44 unit square so we know that a b c d is equal to 44 unit square so ratio of area oh so we see here ratio a b m to area of a b c d is equal to so this one area of triangle is 11 area of this one is 44 you can make it smaller by dividing with 11 so 11 divided with 11 1 44 divided 11 4 so ratio of area of a b m to a b c d is 1 to 4 <laughs>